Sam here from Sheridan Computers. In this video, I want to take a look at firewalls, specifically Untangle. Um, I have done videos on firewalls in the past and they have been predominantly PFSense. Uh, well, PFSense is my go-to firewall these days. I need something that's a bit better at filtering and reporting, uh, which is why we're gonna be taking a look at this different product. Before we do that, if you'd like to hire us for any IT related projects, head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk, click on the hire us button, fill out the form. If you leave some details on what you're looking for, I'll get back to you with whether we are able to help you or not. If you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. If you hit the notifications icon, you'll receive notifications of any new videos as they are released. Um, with that out of the way, let's head over to Untangle's website and take a look at the appliance that we have. So the one that we have is the Z4 appliance. Um, you don't need to buy it as an appliance. You are able to download Untangle and install it on a virtual machine and use it that way. Uh, I prefer using physical hardware for anything that's doing routing as opposed to virtual machines. Um, so there are appliances available as well. You can get a free trial or schedule a demo. Uh, you can find out more on Untangle and its capabilities by visiting the website. Um, we are going to take a look further into it. Let's take a look at the appliance that I've got first. So we got the Z4. Um, it says the Z4 is ideal for small networks, branch offices or retail locations that need a cost-effective network security solution that just works right out of the box. Uh, it says the appliance performs well under heavy workloads like content filtering, intrusion prevention and VPN and encryption. Uh, ensuring these smaller networks stay up and running with no hiccups. This quiet desktop appliance takes up minimal space and is recommended for networks of 10 to 50 users. Um, appliances ship with the next gen firewall software, um, including all free apps, 14 day free trial of all paid apps. And you can add a subscription um, to complete the package. They also offer hardware as a service so you can pay for the appliances monthly. Um, so the one that we have is a Z4, which is around um, £280, £300 mark. Uh, and this is it. We do have one in the box, which I'll get out shortly. Um, so we've got four ports on the back of it. Um, it's got some USB ports and uh, we've got the console output on this, VGA output, um, which I don't usually have when I'm using the... Um, PC engine stuff. So, technical specs. It's recommended for 10 to 50 users. Uh, the processor is an Intel Celeron quad core. It comes with 4 gig of RAM and a 32 gig uh, M SATA SSD. We've got 4 gigabit interfaces, um, the 4 USB ports, uh, VGA, as we mentioned. Um, the unit in pounds, two pounds, shipping weight, four pounds. So it's really quite light. Uh, farm factory is fanless desktop, so it should be fairly quiet. Um, the interesting specs to look at are firewall throughput, uh, 950 megabits a second. Uh, next gen firewall throughput, 500 megabits a second. So we'll get into that um, later. That's going to be um, when you're using web filtering and stuff, I imagine. Uh, we've got the operating temperature in between 32 degrees and 122. Um, yep. NGFW throughput is measured with application control, IPS, web filter, virus blocker, um, and reports. So it ships with a power adapter and cable, uh, visa mounting bracket screws, and rubber feet. As I say, we'll go through the box in a minute. Um, and we can get the setup guide here. There's some notes on it. Um, Cost-effective desktop security appliance, get zero touch deployment through the command center for provisioning and remote configuration. It includes one year hardware warranty. You can add a software subscription to meet your needs. Um, as I said, without the software subscription, I'm pretty sure it just does um, routing. Uh, I'm not even sure the VPN works without the subscription. We'll have to take a look into that shortly. Uh, untangle live support on the hardware or software must be purchased separately, either as standalone live support subscription or as part of the complete package. During the first 15 days of receipt of your appliance, you may request a performance upgrade to the next larger appliance. If approved, you'll be charged a restocking fee of $150 or 10% of the purchase price, whichever is greater, plus a difference in price between the appliances. And you've got the uh, returns policy. Um, that's about it for the appliance, so 
Yeah, let's unbox it and take a look at it. Okay, so we have the untangled brief manual. So the actual appliance itself is quite small. It's not rack mount this one. Um, as I mentioned, we've got the four USB ports, VJ output, and the four gigabit network ports on the back with the power. Um, there's a piece of mounting bracket, network cable, we have a US power lead. Um, I got this from a UK supplier, so we did have a UK one sent with it as well. Uh, and the power adapter. So, there's not really much to look at at this stage. Um, let's power it up, log in, and take a look at it. Okay, I've hooked up the keyboard, mouse, uh, and the VGA. So let's power the device and see what happens. Okay, so first boot, it's gone straight into select your language. Um, so we've got a available language, we have English, we have a test language, German, Japanese, Chinese, Portuguese, French, and Spanish. We're obviously going to continue with English. Um, and it jumps straight into a setup wizard. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so first it's asking us to create the um, password for our admin account. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to want to put the email address in. Uh, we have an American keyboard. And um, from install type, we have higher education, we have state and local government, federal government, non profit, hospitality and retail, healthcare, banking and financial, home, student, or other. So this obviously depends on the license that you get and the um, type of customer that you are. So we're going to do other. Um, Europe, London for my time zone is correct. So we need to configure the networking. Um, so it's predefined the network ports for us. So we've got uh, EVE 0, which is uh, the external network interface. EVE 1 is internal, and then you've got 3 and 4 um, for whatever you want to use those for. So it's saying plug an active cable into the network card to determine which network card it is. Drag and drop the network card to map it to the desired interface, and repeat steps 1 and 2 for each network device, and then click Next. Um, let me go ahead and find my internal one. So it says EVE 0 to 3, and now on the actual device themselves, they are labelled uh, ports 1, 2, 3 and 4. So I'm guessing EVE 0 is port 1, so EVE 1 is going to be port number 2. Let's plug that in. Okay, so that's lit up, so as you can see, um, we have our internal network, so that's fine. Uh, and then I'm going to plug the external network cable in to EVE 0, which is port number 1 on the actual appliance. Um, now you can, so it's detected them, that's good, straight out of the box what we want. And uh, you can drag these around, reorder them, uh, drag and drop to reorganise. Um, let's go ahead and set up the internet connection. Uh, for the internet connection, we have types as DHCP, um, static, or we've got PPPoE. Uh, so I'm going to set this up as static. 
Go ahead and stick my IP details in. So I've done that, we can go ahead and test internet connectivity. Success. So for the internal network, um, so this is recommended for the external port is plugged into an internet connection that enables net or DHCP um, for a router. All you can do with transparent bridge. Now this is recommended if the external port is plugged into a file or router that bridges internal and external um, and disables DHCP. So um, this is kind of your preference to how you want to set it up. I'm going to set it up on 10.1.10.1. The Fortress 24 is fine. I'm going to disable the DHCP server because I don't want it to interfere with our network. Automatic upgrades. Uh, automatically install upgrades. Um, yeah, there's no reason why not. Connect to the command center. Um, that's done, so let's go ahead and finish. The Untangle server is now configured, go to the dashboard. Uh, congratulations, ready to be configured. I thought we'd just done that. Um, please register with untangle.com account before continuing. Registering gets you the following benefits, access to uh, your account on Untangle, manage your licenses and easily transfer licenses between servers. So I've just entered the uh, username and password for my Untangle account. So account's configured, we're connected. Um, let's go ahead and continue. Uh, thank you for using Untangle. Application's now been installed and configured. Would you like to install the recommended applications for now? So yes, go ahead and install the recommended apps. So as you can see, Untangled's um, very easy to set up, it does most of it for you. Um, default apps it's installing is web filter, virus blocker, bandwidth control, um, SSL inspector, uh, captive portal, firewall. I've got report, policy manager, directory connector, uh, one failover, one balancer, IPsec. Uh, let me get rid of this. Uh, IPsec VPN, open VPN. I was reading that. Okay, flip back to the dashboard. So um, I'll just use the opportunity to uh, log in with a web browser. Um, obviously, put the local IP address in of the uh, Untangle box, and then you'll get the web interface as we did looking at it through the VGA. Uh, going back into the apps. So most of these require a license by the looks of things. I will have a play with this um, further down the line. As you can see, most of them still say free trial, 14 days. But if you look in the web filter, for example, uh, we're going to categories. Um, there's a lot of categories in there, out of the box, that you can use for um, web filtering. Uh, you can do site lookups, you can whitelist sites, block sites. Um, we've got the virus blocker. Scan options that's under there, so you can uh, do HTTP scanning, SMTP, uh, FTP. Again, you can pass sites. Um, there's an advanced setup for attachment types and mine types. Uh, do 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 apps, uh, bandwidth control. There's a wizard that you can run to set up bandwidth control. Um, we've not set up QRS or anything on here, so let's say I need to get it set up and have a play with it properly. Um, we've got the SSL inspector, um, application control, uh, applications, so you can block applications, monitor applications. It seems to do a lot out of the box. I say I do need to have a proper play with it. Um, as far as this video goes, I'm going to leave it there. Let me switch this back real quick. So if you found this video useful, please hit the like button. Uh, consider subscribing, subscribing to the channel. If you hit the notifications icon, you'll receive notifications of any new videos as they are released. And I am planning on doing a few more on Untangled. This was a basic video on uh, 
setting up the Z4 appliance because it was the first time that I'd uh, actually had my hands on one. So I guess I'll see you in the next video.